from Newsnet and CCTV, it's High School Hockey, coming you to you from the Wex in there. Cadillac. All right, welcome everybody to the start of tonight's game. We are doing the introductions for Manistee. Number 18 is Jake Lamb, the junior. Number 55 is Luke Lahr, the sophomore. Number 15 is jo Jonah Lundberg, the junior. Number 16 is Bryce Harless, the sophomore. And number 44 is Saku Rutsalainen. And the goaltender is Alex Shriver. And now Jeff, take it away for the Cadillac Vikings. All right, here was the starting lineup for the host Vikings. Number four, Jack Schmidt deal on defense. Number eight, Caleb McKinley. Caleb is a freshman this year. And number three, Cam Harold, sophomore. Henry Schmidt deal, Jack's brother. Number seven, another freshman. Number 10, Carson Carlington. Another freshman for the Vikings. And Nathan Moore in the goal tonight. Our head coach for Manistee is Jim Foley, assisted by Bill Shriver. And now our national anthem by Isabel Somerville, freshman. Beautiful rendition of our national anthem by Isabel Somerville. She has uh, got a great she voice. She has a great voice. Um, our referees tonight are Anthony Armour and Matt Amel, and our linesman is Alan Shear. Uh, Jeff, did we get the coaches for Cadillac? Yeah, head coach Scott Graham in his 21st year. We have assistants Randy Boyke, also Mike Stebbins, Les Sharp and the athletic director, Mr. Fred Bryant, for the Cadillac Vikings. And Mark Moore also is uh, and Mark uh, Moore. helping out as assistant coach. And uh, we are just about ready to go. These two teams are, it's a non-conference game. And uh, Jeff, they're both looking to have a good game right yep. now. You know, the, the, the wins have been far and few between for both of these teams, and it uh, should be a good matchup tonight. Yeah, I think so. You know, they met earlier in the year, and uh, the Vikings squeaked out a three to two victory. Come from behind, actually. So uh, Manistee had the lead, and the Vikings end up coming back. So it should be evenly matched squads tonight again. And tonight's game is also being aired on radio, Jeff. 98.7 and 97.7. Okay. All right, the puck so. is dropped, and we are ready to go. Underway here from the Wex on a Friday night. Cadillac Vikings and the Manista and Manistee Chippewas. Jeff Castillo along with Bill Dooley bringing you the action. 
Vikings bust over the line. Here comes Jack Schmidt. Now shoot, scores! Beautiful upper corner shot. That was a great shot by Jack Schmidt. He made a nice move around the defense. He, he took a look up, you know, picked his spot, and he hit it right up in the upper corner. Wow, and uh, Alex Shriver didn't have a prayer, Jeff. Nope. I mean, that thing was a laser beam. Yeah, it was. Well placed. And Good one start of the, for the yeah, Vikings and Jack Schmidt deal. One of the quickest goals you'll ever see at the 16.42 mark. So that's uh, 18 seconds into the game. Face off at center. Fisher Moore will draw it back. Going after it is Caleb McKinley. McKinley behind the net to Schmidtdale and back to McKinley. In the skates of Farley, doesn't see it. Russell Shotty, number seven. There's a centering pass. Jack Bosick just fanned on it. He was open in the slot. And now Farley with a two-on-one. He's got Zach Izzard. Izzard with the wrister, and that was a missile. Coming right back out with the puck is Jake Lamb. The leading scorer gets it up to Shotty just off his stick, and Caleb McKinley behind the net. McKinley loses it. On the forecheck is Jake, Jack Bosick, number five. Stopping behind the net. Fisher Moore, he'll get it up to Farley, and we've got a penalty, a high stick. That didn't take long either. So that's going to be against Cadillac? Because Cadillac had possession, so it's got to be Cadillac going. Yeah, I believe Fisher Moore is making his way to the box. Okay. And that was uh, Cadillac's goal was, uh, again, number four Jack Schmidt deal. That was unassisted. And Manistee is going to be on a power play. We saw lots of this uh, in the first period of one week yeah, ago against Petoskey. Deja vu here for the Vikings. <laughs> here we go again. Face well, off. Their penalty kill unit should have. Uh, Roots of Lanen just wide of the net. And then a rebound try by Harless. Puck is underneath a couple bodies right behind the net. They're digging away at it. Comes out front, a wraparound attempt. It's loose. Still in the slot. Pass over to Lamb. Lamb with the shot that goes into the corner. Cam Keen gets it up the boards. It's kept in by Lamb. Lamb over to Luke Lahr. Here's Roots of Linen. There's a shot. Good save by Nathan Moore. And they've got some pressure on on this power play. Finally, the Vikings will pick it up. Keen out to center ice. Over the line, here's a nice wrister. That is steered aside by Shriver. And the Vikings will go for a full change. Coming out, Roots of Linen with the pass at center ice, goes off the stick, and the Vikings will put it back in deep. One, One minute to go in the power play, Jeff. Yep. Manistee's had a couple good shots. Cadillac came back with one of their own. Dumping it deep into the corner, going after it. Keen, and he'll rifle it down the ice. Stopping it there is Shriver. Takes a pass to Luke Lahr, number 55. He is a sophomore. Very young team, Jeff. They have one senior, that's Roots and Linen, and, and uh, he's an exchange student, so really uh, super young team for Manistee. Yeah, they usually have a few exchange students on their team. Looks like yeah, they, they just do. got the one this year. Shotty with the pass. There's a save and gloved aside. That was off the stick of number 24, Jeffrey Schwaz, the junior. They must have some kind of special connection, uh, you know, when they bring it in these Ford Exchange students. Uh, well, their I'm sister sure we could school. ask, but I don't know if they'd give us that kind of information. It's probably highly confidential. <laughs> their sister high school is in Finland, and I think it's just a direct one-for-one. Uh, okay. one. Oh, there it is. That's just a made-up theory. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's a break. Zach Izzard almost broke loose. Turning with it, coming back the other way. What number is that, Jeff? I'm having 30. trouble. That's 30. 30. I do not have him on my list. It might be Matteo, but I, I'm not sure. That pass went awry. It'll go all the way back for a shot on that against Shriver. We'll, uh, we'll do a little research to try and get number 30's name. There's a pass on the stick of Roots Linen. Schmidtdale behind the net. Pass Caleb up the boards towards Izzard. Pinching in and keeping it in. We'll call Mateo for now until we find out. Farley off his stick. The Chippewas will put it right back in deep. That was Austin Quillen, number 28. And now with some speed, here comes Fisher Moore. Moore cutting to the middle. 
Takes that wrister. Oh, and he had that low corner picked out. Here's some speed coming in. He'll drop it the other way for Cam Keen. Keen has a wrist shot, and it was a screen digging away at it. Good save by Shriver. Vikings uh, fought off that penalty and came back with a little pressure of their own. Okay, yeah, well, they, like you said, they had a lot of practice at that the other night, so their penalty kill has uh, certainly had its work done this year. I don't think they needed any practice during no, the whole week I don't think so. Maybe right for the rest of the year. <laughs> it's kind of been a common theme this year for the Vikings, and it uh, hasn't been doing them much good. Now Lamb with some good speed, weaving his way, put the, between the feet on a good move there, centers it in the slot shot. Oh, just off the post, and first it was off the pad. Yeah, Moore just got his leg pad down on that. Good positioning. Olivia Peedle will get it out to center ice. She was one of our guests on the pregame show, along with Jake Lamb as she is chasing him down. Yeah, they did a fine job. Now Luke Lahr will give it back to Lamb. Lamb coming out over center. Goes towards the corner. He'll just throw it out front. First one to it is going to be Olivia. Then she's demolished there. And going for a penalty is going to be Schwash. And Cam Keen, number five, yeah. sticking up for his player. Yeah, he was. He was showing uh, the Man of Steve player there. You didn't appreciate taking out the young lady. Yep, and he's going to um, go into the box. We'll see if there's going to be an additional penalty on Schwass. I know he had the, the first one for roughing. Right, and they were swapping some stick swaps there a little bit. Yep. A couple little love taps. Mm -hmm. Reminiscent of uh, Jeff Castillo in the men's league. Hey, 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 hey now. Okay, come All on. Right. Wrongly accused again. <laughs> so number 20 is is a Barnett, last 30. name, or excuse me, number 30. 30. Okay, so it's Barnett. We'll just go with Barnett for now. Barnett does not keep it in, he'll dump it in, so having to regroup Chippewas. That'll allow the Vikings to come out with it. Here's Cam Harrell, number three. Wrist it, oh, Shriver Ooh. thought he had it. It went into the corner, oh, Quillen stick. Towards the blue line, kept in now. Schmidtdale back to Harrell. Cam Harrell with a shot, does not make it through. Vikings with some decent pressure. It's five on five, right, Jeff? So there yeah, was just, babe. okay. Saku roots the line in. There's a shot steered in behind the net by Nathan Moore. And the Vikings will put it back down the ice. Referee has their arm yeah. in the air. It'll be an icing. I don't know if he realized that they were five on five. He might have thought they were short-handed, but anywho, it's a, did we be a hear, face off in the Cadillac zone. Did we hear, and I would assume it was a roughing and then a slash and retaliation. A slash. Okay. Yeah. And, right. and that's Simple it. Simple as so. that. All right. Yep, five on five, they're going to play even up. Shotty will be facing off against Fisher Moore and Caleb McKinley taking the puck, cutting out front. Moore to center ice. Jake Lamb will get it back in deep. Now McKinley over to Schmidtdale. Up the middle, it goes through everybody and is going to be just icing. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it would have been nice for Cadillac to have gotten on a power play and everything, having Manistee taken that penalty. Yeah. However, uh, you also want to, you know, let the other team know, hey, we're, we'll put up with certain things. We're not going to put up with this. And uh, he, he was sticking up for his teammate there. So. Yeah, that is great to see. Yep. Got to get our sponsors in here in just a second, and we've got player profile coming up, Jeff, and we'll get you that sheet too. McKinley. Fans on it, Manistee takes it over for a second, and the puck will be played back to Quillen. Quillen for the Chippewas. There's a high fluttering shot over top of the net. Farley gets it out of the zone, right back in. And we got a offside. That'll give us a chance here to get our sponsors in. Okay, we do want to mention our sponsors for tonight's game. That would be Pizza Plus. Cadillac Tire and Fox Motors of Cadillac. And we do appreciate your support in helping bring our viewers this game tonight. All right. Face off is taken by Bryce Harless. That one is just wide of the net. Schmidtdale up to Molly McKeever, number 17. Goes off her stick to Lamb. 
In behind the net, Schmidtdale will reverse it for McKeever. McKeever in the middle of the ice. Rice Harless, that shot was way wide. Pinching in along the boards and taking the puck, the Vikings do not clear. Comes back in deep to Jack Schmidtdale up the boards, but it'll go right to Luke Lahr. Luke Lahr looking to shoot, didn't get much on it, and the Vikings still cannot clear. This one will go all the way down the ice and um, give us a Another chance. Another icing call. Okay, so we'll take this opportunity for a pr player profile. Tonight we have senior Olivia Peedle, number 19. Olivia's parents are Lisa and Scott Peedle, along with her brother Carson. Besides playing hockey, Olivia was the captain of the girls' golf team and is on the ski team. In her spare time, Olivia likes downhill skiing, boating, wakeboarding, and surfing. Olivia's favorite athlete is Tyler Batuzzi. After high school, she plans on attending Northern Michigan University. Congratulations, Olivia, on being our player profile of the game. That is great. She is definitely a high energy. Here comes a shot that's deflected, goes up high into the netting. And she definitely is a high energy type of person, Jeff, as you can see. She yeah. doesn't take anything like uh, basket weaving no, or doesn't look like it. It is all very it's kind of those classes that you took when you were in <laughs> high school. She's shying away from. Well, I struggled with basket <laughs> weaving, but uh, no, she's she's uh, quite the uh, adventurist. Yeah, sound like she did a good job on the interview. She did. She might be after our job one of these days. That's Never okay. Know. Yeah, there's a weird <laughs> bounce off the board. Comes out. There's a shot taken by Henry Schmidtdale, trying to center it was Carson Carlington. Puck is back towards Schwash and he'll get it out to center. Sidestepping that check was Jack Bosick. And we got a penalty coming up to Cadillac, I want to say. Because uh, we got a roughing call from Matt Amo. That was Cam Harold. And he is going to go in the box for a roughing call. Vikings are up one to nothing here at 9.24 mark of the first period, and they're gonna find themselves again on the penalty kill, Bill. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. I mean, uh, they do have a full bench tonight, um, and uh, so we'll see what happens. The Vikings get the puck behind their own net, and it's gonna be, is it held by Nathan Moore? It's right at the post. I don't think anybody saw it at first. McKinley up the boards, Lamb. Over to Lahr, uh -oh. Lahr with a shot, never got through. It hit his own player out in front. That was Lundberg, and the Vikings will clear it down the ice. Yeah, and I don't think Moore could see that at all either, so fortunately hit one of their own players. Okay, the puck is played by Caleb McKinley in the corner. Tries to get up the boards, he does, to Austin Kiley. Number 14 goes off his stick. Played by Lamb, Jake Lamb, trying to make a move around McKinley. He does, tries to center it. Good defensive play by Jack Schmidtdale. Centering attempt, goes on the stick of Rutzelainen. Cross ice to Barnett, blocked by McKinley. McKinley had his pocket picked and the Vikings will finish the job all the way down the ice with 55 seconds to go in the power play. Barnett over center. Taken by Cole Mortensen. And Jeffrey Schwass now for the Chippewas will go back to retrieve it. Up the boards, goes past everybody. Let's see if we got an icing call. Yep, oh, they we do. do. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, right. we've, we've got to get a name for it. Is that Barnett? Is that like uh, just the one? Is that like Cher or Madonna? It's just, just the one, one name. The, just the one name? Just one name. <laughs> All right. Jeff, I got yep. to. Why don't you take the space off here? Okay. Got some business to take care of, okay. Henry Schmidtdill on that for the Vikings. Gets it back to Cam Keen. He dumps it down in the corner but doesn't get there. Barnett brings it out, brings it up to Shoddy. He's got a little bit of room. And there's Henry Schmidtdill come with the back check. Flipped out of the zone. Not far enough for icing. Here comes Manistee. Fanned on the play there. And that one goes out of the play up to the Cadillac bench. We got eight seconds left on the penalty kill for the Vikings. One to nothing, the uh, Vikings lead on that early goal by Jack Schmidtdale. 
You are watching high school hockey on Newsnet Sports and CCTV. Jeff Castillo along with Bill Dooley. And uh, so far, good action. Yep, evenly played. C Cadillac can stay on the uh, even strength play. They might be able to get a little offense generated here, but tough to do when you're down a man. Shot him behind the net. Fisher Moore, number two for the Vikings. Long pass off the glass, and we got an icing call, so it'll come all the way back down into the Viking zone. All right, now I noticed you did tell the uh, viewers tonight, Bill, that uh, this game was being broadcast on the radio, so is that you trying to tell the viewers if they get sick of listening to us, they can just flip it over and listen to the radio? <laughs> it's nice to give them a little art learning to them. Yeah, no, it was just was kind of neat seeing that it is covered by FM uh, radio station. Uh, and we had uh, Steve Miller is one of the guys along with Chris Kraft, and they are bringing the game on uh, 98.7 and 97.7 FM. All right, Zach Izzard, number nine for the Vikings. Blocked by Lamb. Lamb, nice cut, right out in front of his net. Another good move, he's got some speed coming up to center. Lamb over the line, looking for Roots and Linen. Never got the shot off in Schmidtdale with a good check on him. Roots and Linen centers right past Lundberg. There's a stick down in the corner, but Zach Izzard will come back. He's going to wind up with it. Oh, and that thing just wide of the net. Yeah. Centering attempt. Well, it looks like part of the game plan for the Vikings is to shoot as often as they can because they are not hesitating to shoot tonight. Well, when you have shots like Izzard and uh, Schmidtdale, that right. one high oh. up in the air and it hit number 55. I want to say that was Luke Lyron. It kind of stunned him for a second, Jeff. Yeah, he was doing all he could just to uh, avoid getting hit in the face or the neck area. Yeah. Moore keeps it in. There comes Zach Izzard, wrists that one just wide of the net. Manistee kind of struggling right now. They just want to clear the puck out of the zone, and they will. It'll go down to McKinley, off the boards, taken by Farley. Farley tried to make a move, and Jake Lamb with a good play to take the puck away from him. Now Rutzelainen with five and a half to go here in the first period. Rutzelainen. Over the line, it's on side, and Nathan Moore will cover that up as Shotty comes in. They got a stick to pick up, and uh, hopefully, Jeff, we will have uh, one of the ski team members here uh, in between the first and second period. Okay. That'll work out good. Face off one by the Vikings. Cam Keen on the turn around the net. Dumps it back in. Keen plays it up to Olivia Peedle. Peedle tried dumping it out, didn't quite get there, and it goes back behind the Vikings net into the corner again to Peedle. Taken by Manistee, and they get a shot on goal, and Nathan Moore is going to swallow that one up, and that's going to bring another face off in the Vikings zone. All right, Jeff, if you want to give um, Libby Lloyd the headset for a second, sure. we'll get to, uh, have her on air here for a second. That's right, I gotta run and get some shopping done anyway. <laughs> Face off deep in the Viking zone, it goes back to the point, Luke Lahr, number 55 shot, just wide of the net by Schwass, and he had an open net. How you doing, Libby? Good, how are you? Great, you like the vantage point up here? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Jake Lamb, number 18, gets it over to the other defenseman, Olivia Peedle. Knocks it back towards the blue line, and it does not clear. Olivia is one of our guests and a former skier. Coming down the left side is Austin Kiling. Cuts to the middle, picking it up. Oh, just wide of the net was Carson Peedle. Manistee tries to clear. Good job by Cam Keem to keep that in. We got a tripping call coming up, and the whistle goes. So Libby, thanks for joining us in the booth. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Um, what, what do you think of hockey? I mean, do you get a chance to see too many games? I've seen a few in my day, and yeah. <laughs> I like it. I think it's interesting. Fun. Yep. It's kind of fast, like skiing. Oh, yeah. Yeah? So, how's uh, how, first of all, you are a junior senior? Senior. You're a senior. How's, how's your team? Tell us a little bit about your team this year. So, the girls this year are, like, the best we've been in a long time. Like, Holy smokes. Good, good. Wow. <laughs> how, many, how many girls are on the ski team? Ten. Ten. So. And there's no JV. It's it's it's, it's six varsity and four JV. Six varsity, and four JV. Okay. Yeah. All right. Puck goes back to the point to Caleb McKinley. McKinley over to Schmidtdale with a shot. He was looking for that 
corner and the whistle goes we had a deflection it'll come back into the zone so you have 10 10 skiers 10 yep. of the um, skiers and uh, did you guys have a meet with uh, Claire was it last yeah. night how'd you guys do we won we got the perfect 10 points in both that we we're looking for so how does it what does that so mean so the points are like you w go for a low score yeah and so we got first second third and fourth and it adds up to 10 oh, in each it. event so in we got event. 20 overall okay wow good so, job yeah <laughs> Puck is kept in by Caleb McKinley. McKinley with a nice move as he danced around his van. Manistee will take it away. Cadillac coming back with it with some speed. That's Henry Schmidtdale, number seven. Henry looking for a player. He gets it up towards Cam Harold. Manistee will put it right back in the zone. We got a minute 20 to go in the power play for the Vikings. We are talking to Libby Lloyd, the senior skier for the Cadillac Vikings, and uh, they just had a great. Uh, a match against, is that what you call it, a meet or a match against? Meet. A meet, okay. <laughs> and um, what, uh, we got some action down there. We'll watch and see what's going on. Yeah. But uh, what got you going into skiing, Libby? So I know I've, Emma, your sister, was a oh great yeah. skier. <laughs> but I've skied since I was like two. It goes to our whole family. My grandparents, my mom was on the Cadillac race team, and then now my sister and then me so yeah. I've skied my whole life and I just love it so what uh, you guys play in the big north right mm -hmm. what is your favorite um, hill for skiing honestly mine is shush mountain okay. but I mean they're it, all pretty good around here so shush is, is that the one near Mansell or yeah Bel Air yep yeah okay yeah camera face not bad either right no it's really not <laughs> there's really no bad option around here Puck. Now the Vikings, uh, we've got to take a look here. They'll take the puck over. It's uh, Fisher Moore. Trying to see what our numbers are here, Libby. We've got five on four right now as far as the strength goes. Oh, yeah. And you could go down to three, but after that, you can't go any lower than three in hockey. Oh, so, okay. Yep. Did not know that. <laughs> yep. You learned something tonight. Coming over the line is Cam Keen. Picking it up, big Zach Izzard. Izzard, back to Moore. He goes off his stick, and Shotty will just put it down the ice. So uh, what's your big competition in the no Big North? Is there a couple teams? So Traverse City Central is just the best, like okay. overall, definitely. And then Petoskey and TC West are up there, yep. and then it's usually us and then Gaylord. So okay. Okay. it's yeah. good competition, <laughs> crazy hard. Last year, did you have any of your skiers on your team go to, what do they call it, states or, or uh, so finals? So the whole girls team went to states. We made it as a team. Oh, and wow. then Alex Nestle was the guy that made it alone. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Right. But we've made it the past, like, 10 years in a row. That so, is exciting yeah. stuff. Hoping to make it 11. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to, to do some play-by-play -play for skiing, but I don't think it'd work out too good, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> What is your um, specialty? I mean, I know there's, okay, help me out here. There's a giant slalom, there's a slalom. What other things are there? That's no, the, the two. two things that we do. Giant slalom and slalom. And mine is definitely giant slalom. Giant slalom. <laughs> where, yeah. do you, where do you get the most speed? So, I mean, usually on the steeps is the fastest because the flats Right, but I mean, what you want, like giant slalom or slalom, would you get oh, more speed oh, on one of those? Definitely giant slalom, giant slalom. faster. Okay. What would you say you know, top speeds would be? In a course, probably like 40, 45 miles per hour. Holy smokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. About. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So in a minute here, I'm going to have you, when we get a second, I want you to do your best imitation of a hockey announcer and say he shoots he scores you know we get excited when there's a goal so before you leave i you need to do that all right have a little fun with it okay all right so manistee comes out with rooks elanen and sawyer smith along with uh, jonah lundberg the vikings carson peedle paul mortensen and olivia peedle number 19 jack schmidt they'll be in hooked still gets a shot off did you see that stick come up underneath Yeah, him? I did. If you were a referee, would you call that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Get him out of here. That's right. <laughs> Clean up. Clean him up. Oh, yeah. 
roots the lane at number 44, tried to sidestep him in, and then he is leveled by Schmidtdale, and I think Schmidtdale's going to go for <laughs> a uh, interference or whatever you want to call it, but uh, that doesn't feel too good, and roots the lane and is checking his teeth. <laughs> So that'll be another power play for Manistee. So looking forward to, to this year for you guys, what are your goals? Obviously you want to try and go back as a team, right? Yeah, so personal goals are to be all region and a stretch, but a goal is all state. Yep, yep. And then our team goal is to win regionals overall because the past few years we've gotten third and like just squeaked into states. And so our goal is to win this year. Yep. And then maybe have a couple individuals, um, kind of like Alex did. Yep, for you know, the guys. Yep. Yeah. Who is your coach? Uh, Mr. Nestle, James. James Nestle. <laughs> How about assistant coach? Uh, we have, have Nate Houck, and okay. then Marty Williams. Okay. And then like Lauren Rule. I don't know if you know who that is. Okay. But yeah. All right. Well, we want to thank you for for being our guest. We're going to have Elliot in between the second and the third period. So we'll get to talk. Uh, boys side of skiing and um, so good luck the rest of the way we'll be watching the newspapers and uh, keeping you guys uh, in touch there all right yeah, thank, thank you so you. much Libby yeah all thank right you. hand those right back to Jeff all right. oh wait wait <laughs> okay before you go Libby give me your best hockey announcer of a goal being scored what do I say okay <laughs> he shoots he scores <laughs> He shoots and he scores. Oh my <laughs> word! Watch out, Jeff. We're in trouble. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, thank you guys. See you, Libby. Watch your step going down there. All right, the Vikings back to action here. We've got a minute to go here in the first period. It's still one to nothing, Cadillac. The Chippewas have a power play. Thank you to Libby Lloyd for being a guest here in between the period here and getting her first call for a goal. That was pretty good. <laughs> Puck comes up to center ice, intercepted by Cam Harold, who put it right back in, goes in deep. Barnett, number 30, up the boards, roots the line and tips it to center. Turning with it is Henry Schmidtdale. Cam Keen puts it back in, but it never got there. And Manistee puts it back to center. 30 seconds to go here in the first period. Yeah, and in, a, in a one nothing game, we're both anxious to call, call a goal. That's right. For anybody. Now the Vikings taking the puck over the line. That was Cam Harold. It ricochets out front. Harold takes the puck away. He takes a weird angle shot. Barnett behind the net. He's checked by Schmidtdale. Barnett up the boards high. We might have an icing with two seconds to go. Whistle goes with one second. Mm. What do you do here? Well, you just got to shoot it at the net off the, you know, the center's got to go right to the net. That's all you have time for. There's not enough time to draw it back and get any kind of shot. So, Jeff, would you bring, bring in a right-handed shot here if you're a coach, even if your center's left-handed? Absolutely. Okay, let's see what we let's see what they I, do I'm here. I'm picking a big, strong kid. And, uh, I'd Zach probably Gizzard? put Izzard there and just have him swing right to the net. Let's see what happens here. Well, now, they're going with the left-handed shot with the second. Does that surprise you just a little bit? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. There's just not time. If two seconds? Yeah. Yes. One second, tough to do. Yeah. All right. And I have seen pucks right off of the faceoff go at the goalie and go in. Yep. So, I mean, that, that play can work. All right. Um, we are going to take a little break here, uh, warm our hands up, and let our crew get warmed up. It is one to nothing. Vikings with the lead. You are watching high school hockey on. Newsnet Sports and CCTV. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.